Hey everyone. Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. I'm really trying to keep up on uh, these these videos, um, blog posts, um, the things in life that I just have to do outside of all of this. Um, I'm really trying to start focusing on my own self-care and making sure I'm making myself priority in order to start um, helping my body heal. So being said, what I'm going to be doing right now is actually glancing over at a blog post I did on my two days of assessment at Paracelsus. And I'm going to be brief because I'm, I try to make these videos quick so uh, you can always head over to my website and uh, read this and fill yourself in on the gaps that I might be missing here. And I think another thing to mention with the whole assessment at Paracelsus that um, it was almost, it's, it's an ongoing assessment while you're there, but um, in these two days that I did, there wasn't um, tons of testing that was done, so there really isn't a heck of a lot to say. Uh, so what I ended up doing was going to the clinic for two days to get the, um, the ball rolling, so to speak, um, and then because my husband's family is from Switzerland, we spent Christmas with them, and then I started at the clinic in January so um, basically what that did was give um, a couple weeks for all of that um, blood work and stuff to come back to start putting the pieces together in order for them to develop a better plan for me while I was there and that's not to say other people don't go there and do the assessment and roll right into treatment and that's fine too um, but this just kind of gave us a little bit of a, a head start on what my body really needed so uh, that's why it was done this way. Um, so in those two days, I had two different appointments, with two different doctors. I had a lead doctor and uh, an assistant doctor. And um, throughout the whole time at Paracelsus, there's also um, a naturopath who's involved. Um, so you kind of have three doctors on your team all together. Uh, they did a lot of blood work. I had about um, 12 vials of blood taken, um, a urine test, saliva test, stool test. Um, they did a EKG because part of the treatments they usually do at Paracelsus involve um, inducing fever or hyperthermia treatments, so they need to make sure you're safe for those. Um, I did a heart rate um, rhythm test and it was kind of just a small piece of the bigger test that happened following in January so all it was is a heart rate monitor strapped to me for 10 minutes while I laid there and just relaxed and um, the goal of this is basically that they're looking at um, the functioning of your autonomic nervous system and um, so this is a tiny piece of the puzzle. Um, in the new year when I went back, I ended up doing a 24 hour monitor as well. So um, it's just one part, but it starts the ball rolling, like I said. Um, I saw their dentist and um, he did both a panoramic and a 3D, 3D x-ray um, and identified four regions where there was inflammation and all four of those places where um, were, were where I had my wisdom teeth removed about 15 years ago. Um, and they, they're called cavitations. So that's something if um, you're not really familiar with, you can always um, just do a Google search because I'm not um, well versed enough to try and explain that to everyone. So I think it's better that I leave that one for you guys. Um, and a lot of these things in the two days were also just some of the therapies that I was doing as well throughout um, my four weeks in January. So it was almost an introduction to the clinic as well. Um, I had oxyvine therapy, ozone therapy, um, infusions, um, magnetic field therapy, um, cupping massage, which I actually ended up canceling cupping massages in January because I didn't feel that they were uh, as important as other therapies I could have been getting there, but um, you can read about that in a different blog post. Um, 
they do a thermography assessment. So this one is, um, it's again, it's not invasive, but um, one thing I'll tell you right now, if you're thinking about going to Paracelsus, you need to be okay with other people um, in your personal space when um, you feel vulnerable. Meaning they um, tend to, <laughs> I'm going to put this in a really weird, awkward way. They stick a lot of tubes up your butt. Um, they do a lot of colon therapy, um, colonics. So um, that's a tube. Um, and all the heat treatments are monitoring you, um, your temperature the entire time with a rectal thermometer. So you get used to having um, people insert things rectally. And um, during the thermography, you end up sitting in your underwear, like no bra, just your underwear in front of um, the nurse. And what they're doing on it is they're measuring about 120 points on the body, most of which are all above your waist, except I think there's one around your knee. Um, so they measure all these points and then you sit in the room in your underwear for 10 minutes. And the idea is that your body should adapt to the temperature changes between having your clothes on and removing them. So they come back in and they measure your temperature all over again and then um, basically a computer analyzes it and spits out a bunch of data, which is something I'll share in blog posts um, later on. It's way too much to explain again. And um, yeah, that's, um, that's basically it for what I did while I was there. Um, we talked with the doctors about my goals, um, what their first impressions were, all sorts of things. But um, again, like I said, head over to my website if you want to read this in more detail. Um, I also have posted already a summary of my first week at a at Paracelsus, and uh, I'm working on getting the second week up soon. And yeah, just keep following along. I'm plugging away at this as much as I can, but um, I'm still kind of up and down myself and trying to um, split my time up in a whole bunch of ways. So I'm not as fast as I'd like to be, but I'm working on it and it's, it is a ton of content to put out there. So um, I really appreciate everyone's patience with me while I work at that. So thanks for listening and I, I hope this was a little bit helpful.